Welcome back to Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday right here on Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media platforms at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me. So in this particular session, we are talking about matters of finding e-learning solutions, especially during right now whereby schools have closed down due, due to the global pandemic COVID-19. And uh, with me in studio, I have David Wawero, who is a business development director, co-founder of uh, Software People, uh, which has come up, come up with a product known as My School Software that aims to, bo to boost the e-learning in the country. Thank you very much, David, for creating time to be with us. Thank you, Michelle. How was your morning? How did you find us, your way to Y254? Uh, thank you, Michelle. Um, I, I think I'm excited to be here to mm -hmm. share our journey and mm -hmm. to share, uh, uh, to talk more about um, our innovation mm -hmm. and uh, to talk more about uh, what we are doing to um, enhance our access to to education uh, in a very innovative way, where we are, we are championing uh, e-learning. Thank you. We are glad to have you. And uh, just before we even get into the My School software, uh, which is the major, major, the main reason why we are here, let, I would like to find out a little bit of a background of who David Wawero before he became a software developer. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Michelle. Um, uh, um, David Wawero is. Um, is an innovative uh, uh, Kenyan who um, who um, uh, get very excited about uh, providing uh, solutions or solving uh, problems that um, uh, the society um, uh, come across on a daily basis. Uh, more particularly, I'm very passionate about um, education, and uh, I think that is how we found ourselves. Uh, 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 asking ourselves um, how we can we, we can plug in and provide a solution uh, during these uh, challenging times, where it's estimated that uh, 1.6 billion children across the world are home and are not able to access uh, school because of the COVID-19 uh, challenge. Uh, our company, our um, uh, software people, is a two-year-old uh, company, okay. a two-year-old, I don't know uh, whether you still call us a startup, mm -hmm. but we are two-year-old. Um, we've um, primarily given solution to financial institution, uh, but we found ourselves ask, uh, we found uh, ourselves are uh, asking ourselves uh, what can we do uh, during this time when, 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 uh, when a solution is required mm -hmm. to, to 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 sort of sort of uh, navigate around the the, the, the prevailing uh, challenge, mm -hmm. and, and that's how we we, we came about uh, this uh, solution. Okay, yeah. you before you got into uh, self-employment, we can call this yeah. as such. You went into employment and uh, you quitted your job to start uh, to be a co-founder of so of software people. What gap did you see in the in the learning sector that made you just dive into this uh, uh, problem-solving uh, business that you got into? Thank you, Michelle. Uh, I think like. Um my background is the financial um, the services. Uh, specifically, I mean, I've been in the banking uh, sector for the past 16 years. Okay. And uh, last year, uh, uh, my friend and uh, my, my my friend and I um, decided to not just do uh, what we are doing mm -hmm. as a side hustle, but uh, uh, I mean make it um, a, a, a full-time uh, engagement. And, and um, I left uh, employment mm -hmm. to uh, be at uh, Software People almost on a full-time basis. <laughs> yeah. All right, interesting. Yeah. From yeah. a financial background, and one would wonder uh, what sort of a background does one need to become a software developer? Um, I think what you're doing as software people, uh, uh, David uh, particularly, mm -hmm. uh, we're just providing a, a business leadership okay. to a technical team of uh, very uh, talented uh, young developers 
who have uh, helped us come up uh, with this uh, solution. Uh, I think uh, what you need to be uh, to, uh, to do to become a developer is uh, a mind uh, a mindset of a problem solver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So the main reason why we are here today, it's the product uh, from software people whereby we have MySchool software, sure. which is offering solution during this uh, COVID-19 times whereby our, our students are back at home till next year. And uh, the question will be, how does uh, MySchool software operate? Uh, okay. The the, the, the application is a video conferencing uh, mm -hmm. application and I think, uh, like I mentioned, what uh, drove us into innovating around uh, this space, mm -hmm. um, uh, besides our passion for, for education and uh, putting our children on the knowledge uh, path, uh, you realize that uh, a lot of children are at home during uh, this situation and even before then, uh, access to education in, in this country and uh, in this uh, continent also, it's, it's, it's a big challenge. And uh, I think we noticed there's a huge demand for, for, for uh, private uh, education in this country. Uh, there's huge demand despite uh, education in this country uh, being uh, a bit uh, uh, not a bit, but uh, fairly uh, costly. Okay. It is estimated that to put a child in a private uh, school for a period of one year, mm -hmm. to cost about 65,000. That is not cheap. And uh, I think uh, for us to, 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 to promote uh, penetration of private, uh, private education, mm -hmm. I think uh, there's need for us to think uh, deeply, for us to imagine uh, a bit uh, in, a, uh, in, in a stretchy manner okay. in terms of um, how, can, how can education be made mm -hmm. uh, uh, cheaper mm -hmm. and, and, and cheaper and uh, accessible, accessible. For, for, for that matter. Oh, right. and, and I think uh, that is how we thought, uh, why not use uh, technology because mm -hmm. this country is known to have uh, better uh, uh, smartphone penetration mm -hmm. than any other country in this continent why not use that to make uh, to make people and uh, to make our peoples our children access education through a smartphone through a laptop uh, and I think uh, that is why we are here oh. I think uh, we innovate ar around Okay. Around, around that background. Absolutely. And speaking about affordability, yeah. let's look at, because uh, you've given us a prox an, like the approximate amount when you put our kids in a private school. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the software, uh, software people under my school software. How much are parents uh, approximately supposed to pay uh, for the license uh, fee? And uh, <laughs> how mm -hmm. much is it? Uh, okay, uh, I think we've tried to make uh, the, the, the solution mm -hmm. very accessible to school. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the point of sale is the school, not directly to okay. the parent. Okay. Okay. So where we are saying, um, uh, depending on the size of the school, mm -hmm. uh, we can pay a modest of uh, between 5,000 and 10,000 a month and uh, have the school uh, access the solution mm -hmm. for a month. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what are some of uh, designs uh, when it comes to the, the lessons or uh, the teachings? So is it just measured on probably uh, primary, secondary, or even tertiary? Or is it okay. just a okay. crossover board? Uh, I think uh, our application is uh, specifically designed for uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we've uh, uh, noticed, uh, Michelle, that the application is very uh, versatile okay. because other than it being used by primary school, secondary mm -hmm. school, tertiary institution, mm -hmm. uh, there are a number of corporate institutions which have used it to do their video conferencing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are working at, from home mm -hmm. during this time. We've also found a number of uh, circles who have used it to do their 2020 AGM. Because okay. as you notice, mm -hmm. 
uh, people are social distancing mm -hmm. and people are avoiding uh, gathering. Mm -hmm. So the application is, um, is quite versatile. Mm -hmm. Other than using it uh, to deliver uh, learning, okay. it can also be used to, 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 to manage uh, corporate, uh, corporate events and corporate meetings. Wow, interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting, very yeah. versatile. Let's look at uh, the limitation. Are there a limited amount of classes that a, that a student takes? Is it limited? And uh, also in terms of uh, uh, the numbers of the users, is it a limited okay. application? Um, the virtual, the, the virtual uh, classroom, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it, it's a very robust uh, solution mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, it has capa uh, capabilities mm -hmm. uh, to host unlimited number of uh, classes, okay. number of streams, mm -hmm. where for instance a, a, a primary school where, which has a, a class one all the way to class eight, mm -hmm. Uh, they can onboard. Uh, they can board, onboard all the students at, okay. at, at the same time, irrespective of uh, irrespective of uh, how many streams they have, and irrespective of uh, how many learners they have on on, on, on each of the stream. Yeah, because uh, we are able to uh, we are able to provide a, a server a, a resource that is capable of managing. Uh, managing uh, that volume and managing a uh, bandwidth depending on, 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 on demand for, for, uh, for that matter. Okay. Yeah. When you look at uh, the normal times when we used to attend classes, we have teachers in the uh, easy access, we can just raise our hand and ask our question. What is the level of interaction on this particular uh, application? How is it, how is it uh, interacting between the teacher and the student? Um, the, the solution is a video conferencing, okay. um, uh, meaning the, 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 the teacher is able to, to interact with the learner on, on, on a real-time basis. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, when we say uh, it's a video conferencing application, mm -hmm. the, 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 the teacher can see the learner and the learner can see the, you know, virtually can see mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the teacher. And uh, it's, it's very interactive in the sense that um, the teacher is able to allow uh, a particular learner mm -hmm. access to a whiteboard where the learner can make notes and the rest of the, the, rest of the class can see the notes. Um, the teacher can share presentation. The teacher is also able to upload uh, videos, upload, uh, uh, upload uh, presentation. It's, 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 it's a very uh, robust and versatile uh, solution that makes uh, learning very exciting. Mm -hmm. And as you know, uh, learners are, are, are fascinated by, the children are fascinated by technology and, and, and they're like And the it. flexibility. The flexibility <laughs> for that matter. Yeah. Okay, uh, speaking yeah. about flexibility, uh, we also know that uh, e-learning comes with a lot of distractions for the pupils. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially when you're back at home and you can be distracted, you can easily be distracted. It's quite different from uh, just being monitored by mm -hmm. uh, a class teacher or even a lecturer, of, of, if you put it that way. Mm -hmm. What are some of uh, solutions to curb uh, this level of distraction. And also there's always never assurance of 100% mm. attendance. So what are some of the solution to curb this? Uh, I, think, um, I, 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 I think during the development uh, mm -hmm. uh, phase, we've uh, tried to make the pl platform, uh, platform uh, uh, strong mm -hmm. and robust in terms of, uh, it, the, the, it, it can handle, in, um, it can handle uh, creative, creative uh, interaction, uh, such that uh, the, the 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 learners are not uh, restricted to the conventional or traditional board and chalk. Yeah, but uh, the, the 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 learning is very it's very it's very interactive. Mm -hmm. It's, it's creative in terms of uh, the teacher is able to upload, uh, upload uh, videos and, 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 and different uh, teaching uh, methodology and, 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 and 
and, and styles okay. that suit a particular age of uh, learner. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So on our screen we have the e-learning college. Is this uh, the platform that we were uh, they need talking to about? Go to, uh, no, they need to go back to. Okay, well, yeah, as my director takes me yeah, back. Okay. So let's look at some of the challenges that we have, because not every student or even a pupil, pupil can access the internet or even the laptop or even a smartphone. So far, what are your what are what are the measures that you, as a company of software people, are, take, uh, are taking measures to actually look into this particular problem? Uh, I think uh, we recognize that th th there are going to be uh, challenges in terms of uh, um, uh, a rollout mm -hmm. and I think uh, this is a challenge that requires you know all the stakeholders to you know think uh, think um, uh, deep about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the issue of uh, access to a gadget mm -hmm. it, 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 it's a challenge mm -hmm. the issue of uh, access to data bundles but I think uh, we start and work with what we have I think that's 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 the idea mm -hmm. that's the spirit we start and work with what we have was uh, that being the challenge we are not forgetting that this country has among the best uh, smartphone uh, penetration in in, in, in in, in Africa mm -hmm. and as far as internet connectivity is concerned mm -hmm. this, uh, this country is also uh, privileged to have a, a, a fiber optic uh, cable uh, uh, connectivity that is better than anywhere else in uh, you know uh, in, 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 in the East Africa region and uh, recently we've had uh, the launch of the uh, 4G uh, balloons that mm -hmm. are taking internet uh, way, back, way deep into the villages. You're so going to jump onto that opportunity. We are going to leverage, <laughs> yeah. Because the idea here is to, uh, idea here is to mm -hmm. leverage and yes. to, to make a, 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 a student or a people in the village mm -hmm. have a similar ease in accessing mm -hmm. education as their counterpart in the, in, in, in the city of Nairobi or any other urban setup in this country. All right. Yeah. What do you see the future of e-learning and especially back here from home in Kenya whereby we still have rural areas whereby internet connection is on a time frame from 6 a.m. to probably 9 p.m. There's mm. a strict time frame of that because of uh, connection issues. What do you look in your inlook? What's the future of e-learning in Kenya? Uh, I think um, there is a huge uh, demand, uh, and we are not look, just looking at e-learning. Uh, you know, uh, as, as e-learning, we are looking at e-learning in terms of what can it do, mm -hmm. and uh, e-learning has the potential to cut the cost of accessing education. It has uh, the, the potential to 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 propagate all 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 propagate all enhance um, access uh, access by you know uh, across across it has the potential to 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 uh, give uh, learners or people's access to to education in a more safer mm -hmm. and a secure environment uh, having that in mind uh, uh, I, I, I think, uh, Michelle, it goes without saying that uh, e-learning is, is, is actually the way to go in the new normal. Absolutely. <laughs> but especially right now, whereby yeah. a lot, lot, of, lot, lot, of, lot of businesses have actually gone online. Mm -hmm. So um, it's the only way, I guess. It's, 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 it's the only way to... Yeah. And to the parents who are still skeptical about uh, their children just getting to learn via a virtual uh, interaction with, uh, with their teacher. They are mm -hmm. still conservative and they believe that like, just the physical way when it comes to learning. What would be your advice to those particular parents who are still skeptical about jumping into the shift of e-learning? Uh, I think um, um, the fear of the unknown is uh, real. Mm -hmm. uh, human beings are known to uh, stick to the known way of their known way of doing things, mm -hmm. their formed habits. 
Uh, but we are living in uh, very different times, uh, and especially now that we are faced with, uh, with, with, with a pandemic that has caused us to you know, adopt a uh, new lifestyle, okay. uh, new lifestyles, new ways of doing things. Uh, we must ask ourselves, uh, uh, how then do we, do we, do we uh, keep our, our, our learners engaged in terms of, you know, uh, accessing a, a, a teacher service and interacting with the teacher for that matter? And e-learning has, has the answers. Okay. Yeah. All right, so looking at uh, m uh, my school, software was just a byproduct of uh, the software people, uh, the software people company. What are yeah, some yeah. of the products that we should look out for uh, in terms of uh, uh, any new launched uh, product that should be uh, giving unto us? Uh, uh, like I mentioned, Software People is a two-year-old company, mm -hmm. and uh, before we, we, we before we uh, came up with the, uh, the virtual learning platform, which mm -hmm. is a fairly, uh, I'll call, I'll call it uh, uh, our newest uh, kid in the block. Eh? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, which it's is actually newest, doing well. Yeah, it's doing fairly well. It's our newest uh, product, and uh, uh, before that, we've uh, primarily be. Uh, doing uh, in, uh, integration solutions for financial institutions. Uh, we've done uh, uh, mobile banking applications, we've done internet banking application, we've done uh, agency banking uh, solution for uh, local banks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also do um, core banking application for, for, for circles, okay. for, for microfinances. So that's, that's, that has been our, 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 our area of uh, specialization. All right. Yeah. Allow me to take you back, or oh, still on my school uh, yeah. software. When it comes to uh, assignments and mm -hmm. exams, how fast uh, do they get uh, marked, and uh, how long do mm. the, the students like, have to, to wait just in place that? Uh, OK. Uh, I think um, uh, I think what makes our, uh, our application unique to mm. uh, some of the solutions that are in the market is that uh, uh, besides uh, doing the conferencing and, and, and the teaching uh, module of the of the of the application, mm -hmm. um, the the solution has uh, has uh, the capacity which is still under trial, the solution has the, the capacity for students to do assessment or test or exams as uh, uh, you'd call them. And they are able to upload their, their work. They are able to upload their work on, 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 on the platform and uh, marking, uh, or as, uh, marking or review is done almost uh, immediately and uh, the results are, are, are availed uh, back almost on a, uh, on, 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 on a real-time basis. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see, if, uh, when you go back to the new normal, mm -hmm. uh, there'll be a time where the, the schools will incorporate uh, the e-learning and actually now the traditional way of learning that you're used to as a country? Uh, that is very possible uh, uh, that's very possible Michelle where we can have uh, a hybrid of uh, the conventional mm -hmm. uh, uh, traditional uh, chalk and board uh, mm -hmm. teaching and e-learning why that is possible is because uh, uh, students need to do um, holiday homework correct St students need to do holiday homework students need to do uh, um, um, remedial, remedial classes or mm. whatever uh, you, you'd call them. So uh, it's very possible to have a hybrid of uh, conventional and uh, e-learning. Okay, and when we speak about remedial classes, uh, when it comes to e-learning, it's way quite easier because it's easy to just go back, a reference and everything, quite very, very easier. Yeah. 
it's 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 quite easy and mm -hmm. why it's easy is because uh, uh, because it's because uh, the teaching resource uh, can be shared and uh, Teaching resource, that is one thing that is, you know, posing a challenge to, to if you draw a comparison between our private school and public school, the, 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 the private schools have, you know, much more resource than their counterpart on the, uh, on the, on the, on the public uh, school. So the, the capacity to share this resource across mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's, it's enhanced by uh, by by by, by, by e-learning, e and then at the same time, um, uh, e-learning you know cuts you know commuter time. Mm. You know we know in this uh, in this in this country, we, uh, and especially in urban setup, sometimes you have to put uh, young children in school buses as early as uh, five thirty. Mm -hmm. Uh, Quite this, flexible. Yeah, so e-learning uh, deliver uh, learning to the comfort of their, you know, the comfort of their homes. All right. Yeah. Let's look at the future of my school software, and are there are new features that you'll be incorporating in this particular software. I, I think during the pilot phase, mm -hmm. we've we've taken a lot of feedback from the user, mm -hmm. and uh, these are the some of the dynamics in uh, in. in in solution provision or in software development, where we 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 say that uh, a software or a solution does not have to be you know static. Okay. Our our application is very scalable mm -hmm. in terms of uh, what customization we can do to mm -hmm. uh, to suit uh, different uh, teaching environment because you understand that. Uh, that the requirement for a primary school would be a different from a requirement of of, of a university, for that mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, uh, my school or the virtual uh, uh, classroom, mm -hmm. like we like to call it, is very scalable right. in terms of you know it can evolve to to accommodate uh, different uh, requirement by different learners. All right. So for school institutions that are watching this, or even parents back at home, and they would like to reach out to you and get further information mm -hmm. on this virtual classroom, mm -hmm. how can they get to you? Uh, I think you yeah, uh, can reach us on the, our website. You can come to our website, mm -hmm. www.softwarepeople.co.ke. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. All right, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, that was David Wawero, uh, Business Development Director and Co-Founder of My School Software. He likes to call it the virtual classroom. <laughs> That's all we had for you on this particular conversation. Matters pertaining the building transformation of uh, ill learning. At Michelle Ashira, you can find me across my social media platform. We'll be right back with another interview. Do not touch that dial.